Jesus said, come, follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Jesus said, come, follow me. Matthew 4, 19. From the start, you're the one who knows my heart. You are there for me, Jesus. You are showing me the way, love and kindness every day. You are helping me, Jesus. So I'll follow. Hello everyone, it's been an incredible month with you. Now to get our story started, I need you to say ready, set, move when I count to three. One, two, three. You did it, thank you. Okay, now let's watch to see what happens. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story. Today is a very big day because I'm going to day camp. It's my very first time, so I'm a little nervous. So I did everything I could to get ready. I got my backpack, and inside my backpack is some snacks, my water bottle, and we're gonna be playing lots of fun games. So I packed my fastest running shoes. Oh, 
And I also packed my favorite plush friend that I like to keep with me when I'm nervous. If you know his name, shout it out! That's right! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe! Who? Who? I heard my name, so here I flew! Hi, Ollie! I'm a little nervous, because I'm going to day camp for the very first time. Camp is a big adventure, it's true. I know someone who is always with you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, friends. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta da! <laughs> I call these my ready, set, move cookie cupcakes because they look like they're ready to roll. <laughs> but you didn't come here just for the cupcakes. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, Tell me a story! One, two, three, tell me a story! Today's true story from the Bible starts with Jesus' friends, the disciples. Oh look, there's Peter. Everyone say, hi Peter. Hi Peter. Jesus' friends were going all around the city sharing the good news about Jesus. They were telling everyone that Jesus wants to be their friend forever. But this guy didn't like it one bit. This is the mean King Herod. Everyone show me your meanest faces. Oh, very mean. <laughs> King Herod did not like what Jesus' friends were saying. So King Herod sent a whole bunch of soldiers to take Peter to jail. Everyone say, oh no, oh no. Peter's friends could have been worried, scared, mad, sad, or frustrated because their friend Peter was gone. What do you think Peter's friends did? They prayed. Later that night, the most amazing thing happened. While Peter was sleeping, an angel woke him up. The angel said, follow me. Peter did what the angel said and followed him safely outside. After the angel left, Peter went to his friend's house and knocked on the door. Can you help Peter knock? Ready? Knock, knock, knock. No one answered the door. Let's keep knocking. Knock, knock, knock. Look, they finally opened the door. His friends were amazed to see Peter standing there. Peter told his friends everything about how an angel helped him and led him safely out and how Jesus was with him the whole time. Wow, Jesus was always with Peter and Jesus is always with you too because Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up, two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus was always with Peter. And Jesus is always with you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God sent an angel to lead Peter out of jail so Peter could go tell more people about Jesus. Jesus was with Peter, and Jesus will always be with me. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Wow, Jesus will always be with me, even at camp. Isn't that right, Ollie? Woo hoo! I'll see you next time. Bye!
to jail because he was sharing the good news about Jesus. Peter's friends could have been worried, scared, mad, sad, or frustrated because their friend Peter was gone. But they prayed to Jesus and Jesus sent an angel to help Peter. And Peter was more than ready and set to move and follow him safely out of the jail. This story is a reminder that Jesus is always with us no matter where we are. So we do not have to be afraid of anything. That's all we have for today. Be sure to join us next month here at Kids Coast at Home.